Okay, you ready to open up your eyes and turn around? Yeah. Okay, go. <laughs> it looks like orange. <laughs> yeah, except for it's black. Yeah, I like it. Wow. Okay, you ready to go to school? Uh huh. As y'all can tell, we finally got a vehicle. Are you so excited? Yeah. <laughs> we got it yesterday. My mother in law took me to a different town and we went and picked this up. I've got to take him to school, which feels so weird because I haven't taken him to school in almost a month. That's just crazy to me. So we're going to head on to school. Hey, y'all. Sorry for this lighting, but. I just dropped Ezra off and I'm at this gas station and let me just tell y'all first off I feel awful right now I have been struggling with driving and riding with people it, my car sickness I can't even handle it like I literally I can't do it like I don't even want to drive home right now I have the van off and I'm about to try to eat this I just stopped here and got a plain biscuit and I got jelly to put on it but it's this kind of jelly, you know, in a little tub thingy, and she didn't give me a fork, or I mean not a fork, but a knife. So I don't know how I'm gonna spread it on there. I might just eat the biscuit plain. And then I got this Gatorade because I've heard that whenever people have morning sickness when they're pregnant, that Gatorade is supposed to help. And I know that this isn't from the pregnancy. My sickness is from driving, but I figured if it helps with any kind of sickness and nausea, maybe it'll help me. So I got that and just a plain biscuit because I haven't eaten this morning. I'm hoping that it'll help me in some type of way on the drive to take Ezra to school. It got to a point where I was like literally just like coughing hardcore and I thought, I was like, yeah, it's going to happen. I'm going to puke all over myself and I'm just going to let it happen because it was that intense. I've only been in a vehicle riding and driving literally like a handful of times since the car accident. I feel like my body isn't used to moving at the speed of a car anymore because I went so long without having a vehicle and so me driving myself has literally made me car sick like I can't even handle it I don't want to drive home because it's that bad but on a more positive note I'm happy that we finally have a family car so that way if I go into labor I'll know that we have a vehicle to bring the baby home in so I'm gonna sit here and try to eat this and drink some more Gatorade and just hope it makes me feel better I just got home and she seen that I'm wearing my shoes when I got her out of her bed. And so she was like, side, side. And she ran and put her little hobo shoes on. So I figured while I still had my shoes on, I would take her out here. Even though she, she just rolled out of bed, y'all. And she just immediately wanted to go outside. She loves being outside. She's like, what is this vehicle? This is just a bird. It's been a minute since I picked up the camera, but I have changed, as y'all can tell, into a different outfit. See the baby bump? Getting so big. I've got to run to the bank, and then i got to go into town and go get the oil changed and get the brake pads looked at because they were squealing. So I don't know if we need new brake pads or not, but I'm going to go do all that. You going to drive, boo? Bye-bye. Okay, I'm driving down my driveway, but Bexley was making me feel so bad. She was crying because she didn't want me to go. So Samuel's like, you want to sit in mommy's lap? So I sat her on my lap and she thought that she was going with me. So she was like, bye-bye, telling Samuel bye-bye. Even though she wasn't going to get to go with me. It made me really sad. guys I'm sitting in Walmart parking lot because I have one more errand run I have to go in there and get stuff for supper I'm getting stuff to make chili because that's what Samuel said sounded good just to update y'all on the van situation that was my dad that y'all were seeing he test drove the van and then he was like hooking stuff up and trying to figure out what could potentially be wrong with it if anything there was only one thing that he said might be wrong with it but it might not even be wrong with it it might just be a sensor but the burning that I was smelling was most likely because there's new tires put on here and there are new brake pads put on here and they just recently had the oil change so it could be any of those things that's causing the burning smell so there's nothing wrong there so that makes me happy so i need to hurry up and go in here and get some stuff for some chili so that way i can hurry up and get back home because i gotta get ezra in just a couple of hours and yeah
Okay, I'm back home, guys, and I just thought that I would randomly show y'all what I got at Walmart. It's nothing crazy. I literally went in there just to get stuff for chili, and then I seen a few random other things that looked good, so I got it. I know that people really enjoy seeing grocery hauls and stuff like that, so I thought that maybe y'all would be interested in seeing what I got at Walmart. Okay, first off, I got these drumsticks because last night I was having a craving for ice cream, like, really bad. And our Dollar General in our town was closed already, so there was no way for me to get ice cream. So I got these, so whenever I have a craving, I'll have it in the freezer. And then, this is the stuff for the tacos. I got some shredded cheese, two things of meat, some sour cream, two packs of chili seasoning, and then two jars of tomato sauce some light red kidney beans and then here is where some more random stuff comes in there's six donuts in here i got six random flavors because we all love donuts and then i got a thing of chocolate milk just because that sounded good too and then i got some french toast sticks for the kids because they love these and i actually haven't bought french toast sticks in a little while so they'll be excited for those and then i seen this randomly too i've never seen this before but it sounded good it's a savory breakfast pizza so we're probably gonna try this in the morning for breakfast okay that's it i told you all i just got enough for the meal and then a few other random things that sounded good while i was in the store i'm gonna put all this away now and i guess head to get ezra from school so i'm at the school to pick up ezra i'm waiting to pull up to get him and i wanted to hop on here really quick and let y'all know because i forgot to tell y'all on today's vlog so far and i might forget when i get home to tell y'all some of y'all might know and some of y'all might not know but i mentioned it in a vlog recently about how i finally started up my second channel called ally cole it's more of a personal channel for me to do videos that don't really involve the kids if you don't follow me on social media like instagram twitter and all of that stuff then you don't know and if you're not subscribed to Alico, then you don't know. But I finally posted my first video on that channel on Monday. I'm going to link the video down below. And I might put it in the iCards up here if I remember. But if y'all aren't already subscribed, please go to that channel and subscribe to that channel. Because I'm going to try to post videos at least once a week. Sometimes it might not be once a week. I'll just have to wait and see how that plays out. But I just wanted to tell y'all so y'all can go on over there and see the video because... I'm super excited about it. I'm so happy that I finally was able to film it. And Samuel is in it with me. So y'all are going to see more of my husband on that channel most likely than on here. Because we're still both shy when it comes to vlogging in front of each other. So that's why he's like hardly ever in my vlogs. Is because I'm so awkward. I know he's my husband but I'm still weird about it. Okay I got Ezra. How was school? Good. It was really good the whole time. You were really good the whole time? That's good. Are you ready to get up from your nap? <laughs> you want to go see Bubba? Bubba's home. <laughs> There's Bubba. There he is. He's pretending to be asleep. Hey, Mama. Yeah, that's you, Bubba. She was excited to come in here and see you. I love that dog.
glad that he suggested chili because it looks really good and I'm excited. If some of y'all are curious about the fries, I made those fries for the kids because they're both picky. Well, actually, Bexley's not picky. Ezra's really picky, but I, the only way that she would eat chili is if we feed it to her. I don't know if she's going to eat any or not, but I made the fries for the kids because we're having chili. Okay, y'all, that chili was so good and I'm so full. And I just randomly thought that I wanted to show y'all this. Go ahead and get it over with. I didn't know when I was going to do it, if I was going to make a totally separate video or if I was just going to throw it in a vlog. So I guess I just decided I'm going to throw it in the vlog today. I've been buying the new baby clothes at random thrift stores here and there. And I've collected a decent amount of clothes. And I was really wanting to do a Goodwill slash thrift store newborn haul so i'm just gonna show y'all what i've picked up so far Bye -bye. <laughs> oh she ran over her own foot what i gotta show them stuff and i'm sorry that this lighting is terrible i'm in her room and it's already like getting dark outside and i have her curtain closed so the lighting isn't great i wonder if i turn it this way if the lighting will be better or worse I feel like it's a little bit better. This is just a newborn white plain onesie and I got it to go with these. I know that they probably don't look that cute to some people but I thought they were cute. They're just some newborn Carter's pants. I just thought it'd be like a cute little outfit just to throw on the baby. And then these came in a bundle at one of the thrift stores that I went to. It was like you got three for like two or three dollars or something like that. And it's just simple little onesies. This says beautiful. This one says darling. They're not the absolute cutest outfits, but I got them because of the price. Okay, this is three months and it's Carter's. And it's just a little dress. It's like a, a mint green color. I don't know if y'all can tell because the quality right now looks terrible with this lighting. This is Carter's and it's size three months and it says sweetie i think it's really cute it's carter's and it's three months it just has like these buttons over here and then just another onesie three months and it's carter's i don't know if y'all can see that it has purple little flowers on it this is just one you by carter's it's newborn it's a button-up sleeper and it has little giraffes right there and I personally don't like the onesies that button up because if you've ever been a mom, you know how difficult it is to wake up at like one in the morning and have to change a diaper and doing these buttons is just the best. I prefer the zipper, but it was super cheap and it's newborn. She needs newborn stuff. So I grabbed it. This is Carter's newborn and it says little sister. Like I was so happy when I found this because it's in amazing condition and it's just so stinking cute. I think this is a one size, but it looks like it's newborn. And it has like the little mitten thingies so they can't scratch their face. It's just a gown. And it's like a peach color, I feel like. These are both zero to three months. It says little cutie. It's just a little onesie. And then this is just a simple like zebra print. And then there was this one, zero to three months has some giraffes on it. And then this is Child of Mine by Carter's Zero to Three Months. It's just a little t-shirt. This is Little Sister. Child of Mine Newborn. And it's actually a zipper one. I love sleepers. For the first few months, I want the baby to be in sleepers or gowns or those sleep sacks. And then this was like a really cool find because Bexley actually had the same exact outfit. But it was whenever she was like two or three months old but this is newborn it has apples and it has these little apple pants that go with it i was like that's so cute like bexley had the same outfit and then this is newborn it's carter's has a little monkey on it that is all unless i forgot something which i feel like i got quite a few items at thrift stores for the new baby i also have other stuff in there that i actually bought at the store but i think i've already showed y'all some of them i just thought i would share that with y'all because I love seeing what people get from thrift stores because it's awesome what you can find in thrift stores sometimes. Sometimes you can find stuff with tags still on it. Guess what time it is? Daddy. Homework time! <laughs> <laughs> yeah.
before I end the vlog, I wanted to hop on here and remind y'all, if y'all haven't already, to please go over to my second channel, Allie Cole, and hit subscribe if you haven't already, and watch my first video that I posted on Monday. I'm going to have the link in the description down below so y'all can easily get to it. I guess this is where I'm going to end the vlog for today. I want to say thank you so much to everybody that took the time out of their day to watch our video. And if you're new to our channel, please don't forget to hit subscribe and tap that bell so you're notified every time we even upload. Thank you so much. See you next time. Bye guys.